He had been a leading light in the far-right movement in Ukraine, and now the shooting of Sashko Billy, as he was known, has led to calls for the country's acting interior minister to stand down. The activist, part of the movement that played a leading role in the overthrow of President Viktor Yanukovych, was killed, say the interior ministry, by officers of the Sokol special unit. We can't keep silent while the Ministry of the Interior is acting against the revolution. This is why we demand that the acting minister, Arsen Avakov, resigns immediately. We also demand that the commander of the Sokol Special Forces and all those who are guilty of Sashko's murder should be arrested. The dead man had told his supporters he feared for his life and that the police were out to kill him. If there were around three dozen special officers, I believe they could have taken him alive and then explained to him why he was arrested and what criminal group he was supposed to be a member of. But it looks as if they wounded him, arrested him and then shot him in the heart. Police officials said Sashko was warned for hooliganism and an attack on a local prosecutor. The acting interior minister rejected calls to stand down. I call all those who are dressing up and carrying arms bandits, whether they are from the hardline right sector or the Fatherland Party or the Samoborona self-defense unit of Maidan. Real patriots are defending Ukraine at the borders, not storming some companies or taking over some households, especially when they have unregistered rifles. Many of the right sector are still in Independence Square. The movement has been registered as a political party and its leader Dmitry Yarosh says he plans to run for president in the elections on May the 25th.